Welcome to Modern's Podcast, where we'll talk about politics, we'll talk about personal growth, we'll talk about money, we'll talk about beauty, we'll talk about lifestyle. In short, welcome to my community. If you are new on my page, welcome. If you are following me, welcome as well, because today I'll be talking about three practical ways you can save your money yeah you for talk i've seen now i'm trying to tell you something that i have tried and it has worked for me so it's practical it's relatable it's relatable so now today i'll be talking about three practical ways you can manage your finance so the end time that people hear something like how they can manage their, their money they'll come up with this defensive quote yeah comrade no you they make my money for me you can't just tell me how to manage it or we live once or okay after making all this money and then i die who go come enjoy ya not be people will not know anything about i know people you know they are actually right so we are all right until Saba come knocking at your door yes oh hell no you know that wealth is not just what you make is how much you're able to keep and how much you are able to invest yes Okay, are you trying to tell me that all these rich people now they don't know how to enjoy their life? They don't know they don't have mouths. They they don't have this ideology that we live once. No, it's about how much you're able to keep. We do you know the reason the least reasons why we save money is because of raining days. Okay? You can't just be like get one error and squander everything at once and then when problem come knocking at your door you will now go and look for somebody to disturb and if that person says no you will start carrying it on your head that oh this person has wronged me oh come to yourself as my enemy because I, there's no way i'm coming back to you ever again it's not so so if you have this thing in mind or maybe if you want to say it already better swallow it swallow it and allow me to say this one first then if it's not practical enough for you you can you know but i'm assuring you you must get something from this video so i had a conversation with a girlfriend that always spends recklessly and carelessly okay we are having this conversation like why is it that she spends because that day she showed me her closet and i saw clothes tons of clothes that she has not used that she didn't that she didn't even know that's in her closet so we are actually talking and then she said i think she thinks that spending is spiritual that she thinks is spiritual that is not ordinary she said ah more than do you think this thing is ordinary it's not ordinary for you to go and then get something like you have one error one error enter your hand now you go to the shop to get something if you are going on the road because you have one error you buy something then i laughed i was just like anyway you saying that it's spiritual i don't know how it's doing you i don't know what you you don't use your eyes see but careless spending is lack of discipline i was just like anybody that makes one error should be able to know the value of that one error okay so maybe you're trying to tell me that it's spiritual or you spend careless i think you don't you don't hustle for your money i think i don't think you make your money because or maybe you depend on somebody to give it to you because literally everybody that spends money knows how painful it is to open your phone and then everything is gone so i'll be coming with three practical ways you can save your money number one is don't spend more than you earn yes i've always had this at the back of my mind i can't spend if you're very close to me you will notice i don't spend more than i earn if any time i notice that i may be keeping track of my um debit a lot and i notice that i have spent more than i've earned for the day i will start shouting if you are close to me you see eh, eh nagging be it whatever you want to call it i will shall not i will shall be telling myself that Modesta, this is a sign that you're you are spending too much. You know, I'll not, I'll not feel happy. So this is how you manage your spending. You know that we don't like seeing debit a lot. Some people, even before the bank could send the money, they go down the return for road. You know that kind of stuff. So you have to be seeing it. You have to see your debit a lot. You have to be monitoring your phone. Anytime, okay, for the day, you have to check your phone for the day if credit alert if debit alert is bigger than 
credit alerts. That's how you know that you are spending more than you're earning. Oh, okay, okay, imagine that you have 50,000 naira in your account and then the, you debit 10,000 naira. And because you are not checking your debit alerts, you will just be like, that feeling will just go immediately. And if you are the person that keeps track of your debit alert and your credit alert, immediately that 10,000 naira will come up from your account. You'll be like, after reading it and the remaining is 40,000 naira. For your mind, it go pay you. Then you'll be like, ah, Omo, I, I need to know how to manage my money. Omo, I need to, I need to go tell on how I spend. Everybody can relate to this. This one that I said now is relatable. Then number two is cut down on your cravings. <laughs> Literally, all ladies fall victim of this one. Yeah, we too like it. <laughs> Online vendors that sells hair, clothes, and food. You people will not send people to, to their village. We circle back. I'm serious. Because, mm, hey, serious. Mm, you know, like, they're actually doing, doing too much. Okay, somebody like me now, I'll be like scrolling through my Instagram. And I come across this nice clothes that I love. I'll be like, hey, I'll slide to that person's DM. If you're watching me and I've been on your DM, you know, and I didn't end up buying anything, please pardon me. It's because of this rule. I'm actually applying rule number two to it, okay? So I'll just, I'll slide the, to your DM because I love the clothes. I'll ask how much. You will tell me how much the clothes cost. You will tell me everything about the clothes. I'll be like, for me to save my shame, or I send me details. You send details, I'll be like, okay, I'll get back to you later. If you disturb me, I'll be like, ha, auntie, I said I'm coming, okay? So I'll get it on my own time. So you just be like, get off my back, okay? So that is it. You have this is a practical way you can cut down on your cravings. Anytime that you come across that clothes, that shoe, hey, that leggings, that hair, that bone straight, that frontal that you love so much, this is what you do. You can save it. Save it, not you can just save it, or you can slide the person's DM, then go for one hour, just leave the page for one hour, don't just buy it for one hour, then come back later, or maybe the next day, come back one hour time or the next day to look at that same product that you want to give, you want to buy. If you didn't, if that feeling that you had the first time you saw the, the product was not there or maybe it's no longer there, just leave it because you will end up not wearing it. You will end up not, like, using it. It's a, it's a very practical way you can manage your money. Just go and come back in one hour time. Or maybe the next day, check that same product. Check it. If you have that feeling that you had the first time you saw the product, you can actually, you know that you actually want it. But if looking at that same product, that feeling is no longer there. That feeling you had the first time you saw it is no longer there. My sister, you don't need it because you end up not using it. It has worked for me. That's what I've been using. That is why if I slide some people's DM, I'll end up not buying because coming back again, I'll be like, I don't think okay maybe i go don't check my debit a lot i go don't check calculate myself very well then come back and i'll be like come on i know fit for this thing at this point you know so this is it number two then number three is you can join the agile contributors you can join agile because why do i say agile bank is the safest place you can save your money right bank is there's nothing wrong with the bank and if you can't actually save use your bank take advantage of your bank you can use Ajo. i had this conversation with a friend i was just like do you know that Ajo is the same thing as saving in your bank you know that 50 50 000 that you contribute to your Ajo every week you can actually put it in your bank and it will still come out the same amount you will get the person was just like hey you are right so but i don't know how to save one one naira in the bank i prefer bringing my money huge i prefer seeing it huge so it's either i invest it or i put it in the bank so if you're on this category you can't reach you can't you can't save money on the bank you can take advantage of our job make sure that the actual person will not run away with your money you know that's just the one thing that scares me about this job make sure that that person can't run away with your money if your money is actually safe it's a good thing you save you, you actually you contribute to a job okay let's just say that your agent is 50 50,000 naira and you guys are four in a group five in a group 50,000 naira into five is 250k 
And Ajo, one good thing about Ajo is that it's going to cut down, it will help you cut down on your cravings. It will help you cut down on your savings because you want to meet up with your Ajo. It's not like at the end of the week and then it's your turn to contribute. You'll be like, well, madam, I don't have it. You know, they will not listen to you. You must contribute because every other person is contributed to you. So you must contribute for another person. You get? So this is it now. Ajo is actually good. Our job is actually good because you are getting your money in bulk. If you are this type of person that can't save in your bank, you are getting the money in bulk. And you can use it to invest or you can use it to, to put in your bank. Okay? Take advantage of our job. And with these following points of mind, guys, I think I have made it clear. It's practical. It's in our level because I know that our level might not be making that big money to start saying that you have to buy shares you have to buy stock you have to these are the practical ways that we can save our money yes in case of raining days because raining days you can't just tell the universe what to bring to you maybe you know that um, um should i say obstacles actually is common in this life so maybe when it comes up you can still see something to defend yourself with you can still see something to hold yourself okay and not like when okay can refuse to give you the money you start carrying face for the okay can you be like in this life maybe i will make it in this life and if you come back to beg me i will do you the same thing you know you don't be, be thinking about karma my sister rest come there's nothing like karma you'll be like this person did you wrong but why is it that that person is still going higher why is it that that person is still making it <laughs> because if you keep on looking for that person's downfall, you you keep going down because that person not even send your papa miss. <laughs> so this is it now. Just take advantage of it and let. It's practical enough. It's practical enough. So 